What's up guys, welcome to my 7th uh, auto coding tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to go over a loaded GUI with the complete um, most commonly used controls. And of those, there's going to be a group box, which is this group box right here. A men men two menus with the sub menu for each. A radio, a checkbox, a label, an edit box, um, a button, an input box with and uh, up down control uh, connected to it, a list box which has two lines of text in it, a combo box which is like this, and a, oh, um, a progress bar and a status bar. Um, as you can see inside the code there's um, the menu items which are these two and then the sub items and you can see the um, function used to make those. There's the group box, um, the label, the edit and uh, the GUI control set data sets the with that negative one you either put the control there or negative one indicates control made so in this case it's edit one right there and um, it just is gonna insert the text edit one right here radio box check box button input box up down which will connect to the input one list one or list box which um, I set the data with a line breaker and that line breaker separates lines, so there's going to be line one and then the line break, line two. Combo with the same kind of uh, GUI control set data. The line breaker, a progress bar, and a status bar. Status bar is the most tricky because one, you have to create it with um, inside the GUI you want. Dim the parts because I, I use arrays, so I dimmed it into an array of three parts, and then those parts are the widths 100 is the first, 200 is the second, and third is negative one because it's just whatever is left of the GUI. And then you set the parts to this variable, the parts width right here, and then set the text, part one, part two, part three, and then you show the GUI. And then, um, I'll scroll down a bit. And in this uh, while statement is where the GUI is pulled for any actions. Um, I have one for the radio one, Select it, it, message box comes up, you bubble the radio one. Same with button, you click the button. When does this show zero? Oh, I'll go ahead and show you in a second. Um, And then even further, connected, the rest of the same thing. It's pretty basic with case statements, but um, with the button one, there's a function link to it, and the function's below, button one function. And I'm going to show you another important um. GUI function for controls. It's called GUI control read. Let me get this out of here. Um, and that function reads a certain control and then inputs the uh, whatever the text is or the information into a variable. So I stored it into variable var, and it's reading input one. So and then it um, outputs it into a message box. And also uh, there's another function, GUI control set state, which sets a state of a function. And in this case, I'm going to do it to edit one, and it's going to be GUI disable. So it disables it, which it already did because um, I clicked it. But I'll go ahead and show you um, how I'll change it to enable, which will enable it. Go ahead and show you that in action. I'm going to use the up down control to raise the value. That's what uh, up down controls do, and it's going to be eight. Once I click button one, it will say you clicked it, and um, inside whatever the it read, which is eight. And then it should. Hmm. Why didn't it enable it? Let's see. Let's try one more time. It's probably because. Here. Let's try one more time. I'll show you the disable real fast. You click it. Put like yeah, that in. And it will show you the value. And then it will disable it. So it's pretty basic stuff. Combo box is pretty useful if you want an input with like multiple um, uh, options or something. And then according to the option, you'll have a GUI control read, which will read it. And yeah, everything else is pretty... I just wanted to make a quick video of showing like all the main var or main controls and actions inside of GUI. Also, I made a function so if you click this, or it's a case statement, if you click, click one of the sub menus, it'll just show that you clicked it, which is all here. And... Um, I'm going to quickly uh, go over some or the important GUI control functions in this next little file right here. Okay, 
And there's a GUI control read, which we went over. It will read the control's text. Um, and GUI control set state, which will set a state of a control. And the four, at least in my opinion, the four most commonly used uh, states that you set. There's GUI disable, which will disable the control. GUI enable, which will enable it. GUI checked, which will uh, check something or uncheck it. And in this case, we'll probably, it'll probably do uh, radio boxes or check boxes. And I yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the four, the four uh, most commonly used. Let me see if anything else. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I again used Coda for this. It's right here. Cool. And uh, I also, if you watched my other or old tutorials on Decafiled, I used a, another GUI maker called VGE. I found it. And, um, it's on my website, the direct download link. Um, go ahead and show you real fast. Um, it's under auto the auto it tab, and you'll see the links and downloads. There's Coda and VGE right here, and there's no surveys or any bullshit like that. And also, um, I might be making a form. Go ahead and come and uh, vote if you want one, yes or no. The page will freaking load. Yeah, if you want one, put yes, and then no if you don't. And again, if you want any tutorials made by me, go ahead to the uh, request tab. And um, just request, name, email, and the request, and submit it. And I should probably get to it if if it's a legitimate tutorial. And my last request was to um, add the, um, with my t videos because some people might not be able to copy down, or it's annoying to pause the video and constantly uh, copy down the text or the code. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload the the entire code I showed you into a file. And, um, yeah, again, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me see if there's anything else I want to say to you. Um, no, that's pretty much it. So, um, my next tutorial, I think I'm going to make a project, and it's going to be making a calculator, a basic calculator with Autoit. So, people might like to see that. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed.